Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell down below so you never miss another video. All right, again today I am without a camera person, unfortunately. We are in the middle of our crazy, awesome Memorial Day weekend sale. Uh, by the time this video hits, it will be after Memorial Day, so thank you to everyone who has ever served for our country. It's super important that we remember that what Memorial Day weekend is all about. Um, we are here, we are open, and we have a grand sale that's probably going to extend past the weekend. So I'm sure if you're watching this on the first week that it drops, we still have a sale going on. Definitely check out our inventory, um, Orlando RV, uh, formerly Orlando RV, now Blue Compass of Orlando. We also have our grand opening coming next month. We're getting new signage. Uh, so we have some crazy discounts and deals going on uh, for the start of the summer and for the start of your next adventure. All right, today we're taking a look at a really awesome lightweight floor plan by Jayco. I don't want to go too much into the detail of construction because I've done it a million times over. So let's just take a look at the floor plan and the trailer itself. And I'm super excited to bring it to you because it is one of the newer layouts by Jayco. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, so we are looking at the exterior of the 2023 Jayco J Feather model 21 MML. Now they have some great layouts in the J Feather lineup. Um, this is their lightweight uh, fiberglass model. Okay, so similar to the other Jayco's, you do have a Magnum truss roof, you have Goodyear tires, right? They're all built with their vacuum bonded lamination on the sidewall, and it is a fiberglass sidewall with an aluminum construction. But the difference is going to be the floors are vacuum bonded um, with two pound block foam to give you a little bit of a lighter weight trailer to be able to pull a little bit easier. So this exact one is sitting at 5,200 pounds dry. On their website, it says it comes in around 5,100 pounds. So a nice lightweight truck should be able to pull this with ease. You're sitting at a total length with the tip, the bumper, the tongue, everything at 26 feet, okay? And you've got one slide out on the hookup side. Um, pretty not not very long overall it's a nice size unit um, gives you a lot of space on the inside and there is a surprise about the bed that i can't wait to show you because most models with the murphy bed all right i said it um have a much smaller design on the inside. So this one's pretty large for the fact that it also has a Murphy bed. On the exterior, you have a nice big awning out here with the outside speakers. You've got plenty of windows to let that light in. Um, and right in the front pass-through storage, look how deep and large that is. So it's a decent amount of storage there for you. On the opposite side, you do have um, your your battery disconnect is going to be inside the uh, driver's side or the, the hookup side of the camper. All right. It's a 30 amp coach. You are pre-wired for the side view cameras as well as the rear view cameras. You have 20 pound propane tanks up front here with the power tongue jack. And you've got a little bit of lighting here on the rock guard, which is kind of neat, right? Nice big Jayco logo on the front end. You do have uh, the new rock solid stabilizers, which are pretty awesome. Jayco has a video on their uh, YouTube channel about how those work. They're much more solid and stable than previous model years. And if you want, you can option to add a griddle table with the suburban griddle top that would insert right here so you could cook underneath your awning. Now it doesn't come standard and I believe this model itself doesn't have one, um, but that is an option if you want to order from the factory. You do have a TV bracket right there as well if you wanna bring an outside TV. And you've got the upgraded adjustable steps here which are pretty awesome. Uh, and you do have Asdell on board as well. So keep in mind this is built with Asdell instead of Luon in the sidewall. Okay, first impression walking into it. It's bright, it's light, right? It's that modern farmhouse everybody loves. On the left, I've got the dinette down right now in the um, travel position or in the bed position. And you've got a big mirror on the wall here. You've got some storage up top. I believe right here is where the TV bracket would go. I'm not sure if this TV was removed for some reason. Um, I think it should come standard with a TV, so I apologize that it's missing from this particular unit, but you get the picture. A little TV goes right there, it's on a swivel, and you have your couch on the back end, or I guess the front end as you walk in to the right. Now, pretty neat here, okay? You've got a Murphy bed. I will show you in a minute what that looks like set up, but the couch alone, has a little center armrest and cup holder, which is great, okay? So if it's a rainy day, you've got this couch with the cup holders, 
and a little bit of arm 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 room arm space and then you have your theater seats optioned in here as well so the stacy stewart collection theater seats you've got the tv trays here if it is a rainy day and there's four of you camping because you can sleep up to four people you can sit here you know casually chat with each other you're not on top of each other in this unit um, and you can still get away with you know enjoying your camping experience so that's pretty great um i will take a second let me um transition and I'll show you what it looks like with the bed out and the table upright okay all right so setting all this up got me a chance to poke around I dropped the um couch folds out kind of like a jackknife but it is pretty it, it is pretty easy to uh work and then there's one latch and lock up on the right hand side of the bed and the bed just comes right down there is a gas strut so it doesn't just kind of like fall down on you like some of the murphy beds out there pretty nice looking mattress um comfortable it is pretty soft i do like this teddy bear fabric that they've got going on here you can see that um it definitely is supposed to come with a tv um so the bracket for the tv is in that box i'm assuming that tv uh was used for another unit um and probably we have to get another one on order so um that's what's going on with that but it will be a smart tv i can see that it's a it's a um amazon fire tv is that what that is amazon i believe it is um i'm boycotting amazon so <laughs> save that for another video but um lights right you've got nightstands back there you've got some blue lighting which is um right here is the control for that back blue light there you can barely see it because it's so bright out today you've got reading lamps you've got a bit of storage on each each side of the bed that has a shelf but you can also remove the shelf and hang some clothes there so there is a bit of hanging clo a clothing option in here um you've got power outlets on either side as well as usb plugs so plenty of places to charge all your devices and control everything and you know Theater seats don't change, but hey, maybe somebody really likes to sleep in, in uh, you know, the like love seats and couches and recliners at home. So that's an option too. And here is your dinette all set up. Now I was um, poking around for the table legs. I found them in that box tucked away behind the mattress, but uh, normally I look underneath the drawers here for storage. Now this one, it looks like there must be some sort of um, mechanism in the back that's preventing them from using all that storage. So you really don't have all that much storage on the right side of the dinette here in the 21 mml but you do have more storage on the left check that out that goes um all the way uh pretty far back there i actually it's not all the way back it's more like two-thirds of the way back into that dinette so good amount of storage and you don't have to pull up all the cushions to be able to access that so i like that a lot oh i forgot to turn on this light your overhead lights they all have push buttons but they're controlled with one um rocker switch on next to the door all of the lights on the extra like on the slide outs and things like that underneath the cabinets they're all push button individual push button there so underneath the bed let me lift the bed back up so you can see uh the surprise that they tucked underneath that couch check it out you have a folding table that comes with this model that stores underneath the couch. So this is a great feature in case you do have um, multiple people visiting, coming over for dinner, maybe you're hanging out the campground, you made some new friends, it starts raining, you all have to head inside. So you've got a table for two people to sit at this couch with some storage drawers underneath, uh, uh, the recliners with their TV trays, right, which have cup holders as well, and then your regular dinette, which realistically seats a family of four which means two adults two children it is it could fit four adults it's just a little bit tighter uh, so it depends how much you like each other right <laughs> um back end kitchen so this is great nice big amount of like window windows lots of light in there you've got a nice big plastic sink um it's a double sink so it comes with the cutting board and with the drying rack which is removable right you've got a power tower here i did make a mistake in previous videos this is not also a wireless charger it just indicates that there's something tucked into the um countertop there okay so uh underneath you've got some storage on either side of the sink it looks like the bottom they had to uh you know hide some probably the venting for the heat because it looks like there's no floor vents for the heat it's all tucked up into the cabinets lots of drawers for storage so those are good and they're they're rated for quite a heavy load so uh, you can see all the plywood inside. There's no particle board in uh, in uh, most Jayco's. Um, you've got more storage up above your oven and your stovetop. Lots of prep space on the right side of the oven, which is really nice. And then you do have a nice big drawer underneath the 
oven itself. Check that out. So that's good for pots, pans, larger items. Um, good that they did this. They changed the location of their, here it is, the breaker box from underneath the fridge or underneath the stove and the oven to another wall so that you could actually utilize all of this storage. So two excellent large drawers there and right next to the oven, now I'm getting on my knees here, a ton of storage underneath there as well. So, um, I mean, most of them don't have carpet, guys, but while I'm down here, let me just note that there is no carpet in this J Feather model, so that's excellent. Um, you've got the nice laminate flooring, and it just looks clean. It's not going to get so dirty, so that's great. Furion fridge here. Look at this. Large electric fridge. That's massive. So you get rid of that condenser. You get rid of that gas option. You just get so much more space in your fridge and freezer. What's crazy is I just turned this thing on not 15 minutes ago with my battery box. And this is already cold to the touch. Like I can feel it. Not the fridge so much, but the freezer. Dang. Uh, I mean, I don't know if this thing... It does not have a solar panel on board. It's wired for solar, but that's that's fast chill right there, that Furion fridge. Yeah, here's the wiring for the solar if you wanna add it. And then you've got your pantry, which is also massive. So tons and tons of storage, great little layout. Um, moving into the bathroom here real quick, I'll go over this. It's a plastic foot flush toilet, so could do a little bit better than that and upgrade to a porcelain. Uh, towel rack behind that toilet. You've got two linen closets, which I'm not sure why they didn't put any shelving in here, but maybe you uh, roll up your towels, you stack them up, or you get something from the container store or Walmart that helps you to split these up and actually utilize all that storage. Yeah, that's kind of silly not to have any shelves in there. Uh, countertop here is not massive, but you do have a pretty big sink, so I can stick both my hands in here comfortably. Wouldn't have to worry about it like splashing everywhere if I wanna wash my face little bit of storage under the sink and then I, I don't know what you would use this tiny little bit of like three inches of space for but they did uh push that wood back as far as they could to just give you any place to store anything so maybe i think even toilet paper rolls are too thick for that but maybe like shampoo bottles a uh, sun lotion mosquito spray all that good stuff or cleaning supplies down there actually and then you've got a little bit insert there for extra toilet paper as well as your toilet paper holder uh, outlet here as well for blow drying your hair and whatnot. And then you have the medicine cabinet up top here. All right. Solid wood doors there. Uh, opening this shower. You have got a pretty decent sized shower stepping up into it. Oh. <laughs> and it's not a glass door. It's also not a curtain that's going to um, rush water onto the floor. It's attached to the bottom as well as the top. So pretty good sized shower. Um, it, it seems like this is catching a little bit, which is kind of frustrating. So I don't know that you could open this all the way, um, but it is about two feet open that you can get into the shower and you've got the skylight up above. So I am 5'2". If I step in the shower, it's hard to see because I'm obviously like doing this from... I wish there was a mirror on that wall so you could see, but uh, from me to the top of the skylight, I can raise my arm all the way up. I'm 5'2". So I would say six foot is where you might start having issues with that shower. So definitely uh, contact me if you want to come in and see the floor plan in person if you're interested in purchasing this, this model or this floor plan or you want to place an order for one similar to it but you want different interior colors. I can help you out and um, show you the model so you can get a feel for the, the space if it works for you. All right, and that is my 21 MML. I think I've covered every single thing on here in terms of the floor plan. Great little layout. Um, I think we had a Thor Twilight with a similar layout but I believe the bed in the front was not was fixed it was not a murphy bed so this is a great opportunity to utilize all of the space um, without going too long without going too heavy so if you have a truck maybe um it depends on six cylinder six cylinder usually around five thousand pounds six thousand pounds and this is at fifty two hundred so i would recommend a vehicle that can at least pull sixty five hundred pounds or more uh you would be safe with this being that it's fifty two hundred pounds dry all right and this has been the 21 mml again my name is gabby i work at blue compass of orlando as always until next time happy camping